Every day we receive reports of wars being undertaken in the Middle East, in South Asia, or further afield. The human race does not need any help in going to war. It happens too often in too many places. And since the end of the Second World War, there have been innumerable wars involving Australia, involving Australian allies. And that is why commemorating this particular event is so important. Australia and Turkey who fought long and hard in Gallipoli in the Dardanelles campaign have learnt to make peace. As soldiers in that terrible and costly campaign, costly on both sides of the conflict, soldiers learnt to respect the enemy for his resolution, for his courage. But then, after it was all over, both Turkey and Australia believed that they should make special efforts to overcome whatever hostility may have existed between them and to establish a close and enduring relationship which has developed into a warm friendship. Both countries have worked at that and have learned to make peace, which is an example to all of us. So this is a time to celebrate. The day the guns fell silent at the close of the Gilbert campaign it wasn't the end of that war, either for Australia or for Turkey. And I well know there could have been a further war in 1922, when Turkey re-established a less unjust solution to whatever participation she'd had in that First World War. And the United Kingdom had sought to get Australia involved in 1922. And it's a little known part of our history, I think, that Britain, if left to herself, would have embarked on another major, costly and stupid war as late as that, and so soon after the end of the First War. We were saved from that, perhaps by the French and by the Turks themselves. But it's a day to remember the courage, the self-sacrifice, the mateship, of the soldiers involved on both sides, and the special place that that particular campaign holds in the minds and hearts of Australians. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.